Have you heard about this newest trend, this current trend called quantum leaping, or some people call it quantum shifting, quantum jumping? To quantum leap is basically to have a huge and drastic change or shift. Now, I've only heard of the term quantum leaping associated with a figure of speech when someone is trying to make a drastic change, but I've never heard of it where people are actually having literal and supernatural physical experiences where their life is completely changing. I'm going to share with you a video that inspired me to do this video. Let me put you on to the most transformative quantum shifting practice I have ever learned. Download, save, bookmark, whatever you need to do, because this will 100% guarantee that you receive that thing that you have been trying to manifest. This works with the idea of quantum creation, the law of attraction, the law of assumption. Okay, as soon as you open your eyeballs in the morning, sit up in your bed and do this exercise. And you have to do this immediately when you wake up in the morning because your brain is in the theta brain brainwave state. I'll have a video coming soon talking about the theta brainwave state and the superpower of that state, but for now, just do this immediately when you wake up. You're going to run through this exercise. Take three to four deep breaths. Inhale four, hold, exhale four, hold in that sequence. Then focus your energy on your heart space. If you feel any blockages, set the intention to send healing light to your heart space to remove them. Once you do this, you are going to imagine that you're waking up in your desired reality. Okay, hear me out because I did this in October of 2021, except I did it a little differently. I took two cups of water. Shortly after I did that, this happened. because there's a reason why I showed you all of that. So when I did the timeline jump in October 2021, I had like 2,000 followers on TikTok. Starting at the beginning of this year, I had like 3,600 and it stayed that way until like May or June. On my list, number six is to have a high follower account with viewers who engage with my content. I'm at 92,000 followers and I was stuck at like 3,600 forever. Not only that, other things that are on my list have already come to pass or I could see them coming to pass. I was even asked by Amazon to give a keynote speech this year. So when I saw this, I immediately inquired of the Lord and I asked God, what is this? What are, what are they doing? What's going on here? Because it seems to be trending right now. Immediately, the Holy Spirit let me know that this is witchcraft. They are practicing witchcraft and there is rituals involved to manifest. They're using terminology like manifestation. These terms that comes from God and they're trying to illegally access the things of God or the supernatural or the spiritual realm. And you have to understand that Satan is the father of lies. He's, he comes to still kill and destroy and he does not play fair. He does not play favorites. Anytime he's using people, anytime he's granting access, it's to destroy you and destroy others. It's all about destruction. Satan is tricking people. The enemy is tricking people to do these things and to participate in witchcraft unknowingly. The Bible talks about in the last days, if it were possible for the very elect to be deceived, then they would. So there's a lot of deception. There's mass deception going on. And the thing about deception is always mixed in with truth. There is a way to access the spirit realm, but you can either access it legally or illegally. If you're going outside of God to access the supernatural, then you're illegally accessing the supernatural, the spirit realm. And that is witchcraft. The Bible also calls it strange fire. And it's like a slap in God's face because 
You're trying to do these things without him. He is the creator of the universe. But what good is it to acknowledge the universe, acknowledge these things and try to leave him and exclude him out of it? That's ultimately what's happening. I also want to give you scripture to back up what I'm saying. Hebrews 11.3, by faith, we understand that the universe was created by the word of God so that what is seen was not made out of things that are visible. What is saying here is very clear that God is the creator of the universe. We have people that constantly talks about the universe and acknowledging the universe, but never acknowledging God. There's also a scripture that talks about having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. You don't want to have a form of godliness where you're just saying spiritual things and you're speaking these languages, these terms that comes from God. They're doing the biblical practices, and but they're trying to do it without God. There is a way to do these things with God. And the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. All of these things that are happening, this it all comes from God. God is the inventor. God is the creator. Satan is the imitator. What happens is the world extracts these definitions, these principles from the Bible and try to use it and make it their own and exclude God when they're not giving him his credit. God created these things. Manifestation, all of these these things that they're doing, it comes from the Bible. That is where the inspiration comes from. However, they're trying to access it illegally. Second Peter 3, 8. But do not overlook this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord, one day is as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. God sits outside of time and space. He holds this dispensation in his hands. He holds time in his hands. He holds all power in his hands. This term quantum leaping, it has to kind of like do with time travel and people are, are trying or attempting to manifest themselves into another realm or another reality or another time. And what's happening is they're accessing these things the secrets of heaven by the enemy remember satan is a fallen angel so he started off in heaven so he knows certain things and he reveals certain secrets by witchcraft this concept of quantum leaping quantum shifting quantum jumping it also has to do with time travel they're using the principles of god the information that satan is revealing to them from when he was in heaven he knew this information so he's revealing it to these people for the purpose of destruction because remember he comes to kill still and destroy people think that they are doing something that is good but is actually evil because think about it when this woman was sharing her story about when she did this ritual and how her life changed there was something bad that happened to her it sounds like she died it sounds like Either she, she had a near-death experience or she died. Then there's this other woman that I was listening to who basically said everything hit the fan. Bad things were happening to her and then she was able to access what she wanted. And she also proceeded to say that God led her to go get a car. God led her to do this and that. But it's, it's deception because if you have the Holy Spirit within you, the Holy Spirit will navigate you and will tell you that this is witchcraft. Because that's what the Holy Spirit revealed to me. And a lot of witches practice these things and these rituals. And it seems like, oh, I'm just getting a glass of water. I'm just pouring it in a cup. But really, you're doing a ritual. There's a lot of things on this earth that God created, but it wasn't for perversion. Just like he created plants for healing, not for us to abuse and misuse. Just because something sounds good, something seems good. Remember, the Bible also says there's a way that seems right. But the end, it, it can lead to destruction. It's so important to understand what you're getting yourself involved in. Hebrews 11.1 1, that talks about now faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. We operate under these principles as a believer all the time. We can manifest things by our faith. In Mark 11.23 through 24, it talks about 
moving mountains and having faith. It's all about faith is what you believe. So the enemy is tricking people and deceiving people to believe that you have to do rituals in, in order for you to access the things of God. But the fact that they had these things that happened to them that was so extreme, something bad happened to them. In Proverbs 10, 22, it says, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and adds no sorrow. When God blesses you, there's not going to be strings attached. There's not going to be something associated with the blessing that is going to cause you pain, devastation. Now, there are moments that we walk through certain things in life where we have to bear our cross because it also says in the Bible that there's a time to weep, a time to mourn. There's a time for everything. However, when he blesses you, there's not going to be no pain associated with it. Now, you may walk through some things and he may bless you after just like he did Job. But what I'm saying is when he blesses you, you're, you don't have to look over your shoulder and be paranoid about something tragic happening because his blessings are his blessings. The enemy, when he gives you blessings, because the enemy can't give you, give you blessings, because even how he tempted Jesus, he was offering his blessings. And that's the thing, the enemy glamorizes the things of this world. We have to align ourselves with the will of God. There is an element of duality when it comes to God. Everything comes from God. The Bible says in his word, when he was talking to the children of Israel, that I set before you blessings and cursing. I set before you life and death. Ultimately, you can be blessed if you keep his commandments. You can have life and have life more abundantly if you keep his commandments. But if you don't, then you will experience the wrath of God. Then you will experience death and destruction. That is the opposite of what he has for you. The reason why we suffer is literally because of sin. This is why he had to send his son to suffer and to die on a cross because of sin. God is not a God that is just sitting up in heaven trying to destroy us. A lot of the things that are happening are because of sin. God has given us free will, so people are trying to walk out their free will. There is a lot of people that are suffering and struggling right now. This is a dark and evil time, but even with that, we have to make a decision. Are we going to follow God or are we going to follow Satan? Are we going to follow Christ or the Antichrist? That's why God is allowing this stuff to happen because he wants us to make a decision. He doesn't want us to try to be in the middle and be 50 shades of gray. And he wants you to be black or white. And I mean that as a figure of speech. He wants us to make a decision because he says in his word that he would prefer us to be hot or cold. But because we are lukewarm, he can spew you out of his mouth, like spit you out of his mouth. This is the problem is that a lot of us are trying to do life, trying to do both. And it's either one or the other. The Bible says you can't serve two masters. You either love one or hate the other. And as believers, we can't be trying to tap into strange fire and doing things like sage and, you know, having all these crystals and things and opening up our chakras and all this stuff because we're trying to access a lot of these things without God and trying to incorporate God in the witchcraft. The Bible is clear about this stuff, about divination and astrology and all this stuff. Then we start to look to those things as our God. That was the issue that God had with the children of Israel is that they were starting to idolize and make these things their God. And that's the problem. God wants to be the priority. He is a jealous God because his love for us is so infinite, is so great, is beyond comprehension. And it's all because he just, he just wants what's best for us as his children. But if we choose to follow darkness and follow the things of this world, thinking that we are doing ourselves a favor, we're actually leading ourselves into destruction when we do these things. 
make a decision to follow Christ and not the Antichrist because there is going to be more darkness in this world. You have to be mentally and spiritually grounded in the foundation of the word of God. And you cannot access the things of God without him. The Bible also says no man can get to the father except through the son. He requires us to follow his commandments. It says in the word that if you love him, you will keep his commandments. That's how we show our love to God. If we don't, we're accessing darkness. We're accessing dark matter. We're accessing portals and things that we're giving the enemy legal access to attack us. And then we wonder why we're in bondage because we've opened the door for this stuff. Don't follow the trends, follow the Holy Spirit.